Hi, it's Adrian Bow here, and today I'm outside number four Dutrick Street in Ramwick to tell the story of a local legend, Archibald John Shaw. The son of a Scottish innkeeper, Shaw was born in 1872 and by 1894 had become a missionary teaching in British Guinea, later returning to Sydney to become a Catholic priest. He was faced with raising funds to support the Pacific missions with food, clothing and medical supplies, as well as to build convents, churches and schools. In 1908, he moved to this property, number four Dutrick Street, in Ramwick behind me and after studying and experimenting with wireless telegraphy he began to design and manufacture receivers and transmitters. In the backyard of this property he built a 73 meter high tower that had the capability to transmit messages over 2,000 miles. In collaboration with E.H. Kirby he applied for patents regarding his air blast spark gap system and in 1911 they floated the Maritime Wireless Company. Father Shaw was its president and the company employed more than 150 staff from the Sacred Heart Church grounds in Avoca Street, close by to me here. Shaw initially installed the wireless equipment in Papua New Guinea and built a powerful wireless station at King Island for the government. He also supplied the equipment for Sir Douglas Mawson's Antarctic expedition. He also built a prototype electric car and a remote controlled submarine from this particular property we're standing in today. Quite amazing considering this was e pre World War I, so back in the early 1900s. Threats of litigation regarding patent infringement by Marconi ensued an investigation into the company, discovered that Father Shaw had misappropriated £10,000, causing Shaw to negotiate the sale of the patents to the Commonwealth Government for £55,000. It is said that once the proceeds hit his bank account and he had settled the debts, he withdrew £5,000 in cash and was found dead, unfortunately, with foul play suspected but never actually proven. However, an ensuing Royal Commission in 1918 on Navy and Defence, including the purchase of the Shaw Wireless Technology, led to the Minister for the Navy, J.A. Jensen, being sacked and Shaw's Senator friend, J.J. Long, was forced to resign over allegations of bribery by Shaw. This became a major political scandal at the time. The funeral of Father Shaw was a massive local event with all the staff of the Maritime Wireless Company walking behind the hearse. Now, 41% of property owners here on Dutrick Street have been living here for over a decade. The average owner-occupier has lived here for nine years and seven months. The records say that there are 439 apartments, eight townhouses and 27 freestanding homes on the particular street. Number two next door, a five bedroom house was sold for 4.6 million in May this year, having been bought for 3.136 million only in 2017. Number 11A was sold for 4.54 million in 2018 and number 15 was sold for 4.9 million in 2016. Now over the past 32 years as an agent selling in the real estate sector in Ramwick, Coogee and Maroubra, I've sold many properties in this local precinct including 9 at 6 Botany Street, Ramwick being a 60 square metre two bedroom unit selling over the reserve for 900 56,000, 7 at 2 Clara Street in Ramwick being a two bedroom deceased estate in the junction of Ramwick selling over the reserve price for a million and 35,000, 17 McNair Avenue in Kingsford on the border of Ramwick that was a freestanding home selling for a record price pre-auction, also 40 Dudley Street in Coogee right on the border of Ramwick that was a 635 square metre land and the house sold there for 5.3 million. 10 at 109 Clovelly Road at Ramwick I sold which was a 40 square metre one bedroom unit for 685,000 being a record in the building and also number 20 Pine Street in Ramwick. Now that was a smaller freestanding house on 360 square metres and I sold that for a record price 
at auction over the reserve of 3,561,000. Now, Father Shaw was an amazing pioneer and inventor from his home here in Dutrick Street behind me. And I hope you enjoyed his story. I also hope you enjoy the crisp June mornings. And also remember, your home is worth more with Adrian Bowe.